Hello friends, today we'll open the MSI Titan 18HX-A2XW. As always, you'll find everything about the laptop in our detailed text review on laptopmedia.com, performance and gaming tests, display quality, battery life, and much more. The link is below the video. Let's not waste time, we have a lot to do. First, we have to unscrew 12 screws from the bottom cover. Place the screws on a magnetic pad so none roll away. We use a Japanese industrial standard number one screwdriver. We release the cover clips with a thin plastic tool. Be very careful when lifting near the middle between the hinges, right where the power connector, the LAN port and the HDMI port are. We rotate the chassis for a clearer view while keeping the laptop in frame so we don't snap anything. Ah, done. The Titan offers four SSD slots, three PCI Express 4 and one PCI Express 5 that's cooled by its own heat pipe, which is part of the enormous cooling system. The memory sits under a metal shield, to remove the battery, we'll first unplug its cable. But before that, we undo the four mounting screws. Here's the connector. To slide it forward, we need the battery free. First screw out. The pack is a 99.99 watt hour lithium ion, the biggest you can legally take on a plane. While the MSI Titan 18 has no chances to get into our top 100 laptops by battery life ranking, you can still check it out to see which are the best laptops in that aspect. You'll find the MSI Titan result in its detailed review on laptopmedia.com, the link is below. Spoiler alert, if our ranking page had top 1000 laptops, this one would probably still fall out of it. Let's move the battery a bit for a better view.
We pull the connector, avoiding the wires. Ideally, the red leads lose contact first. We peel off the protective stickers. This slot is empty, but already has a metallized shield and two thermal pads for an SSD. An SSD is installed here. We lift the shield carefully. There's a warranty label beneath. You'll do it better, we're sure. We should tilt the SSD 15 degrees to remove it, but the lower thermal pad grips it tightly. We look for a way without cracking the PCB or a chip, no prying between board and pad. The force feels near the breaking point. We'll pull it straight out without lifting. The pad snaps it back like a rubber band the moment we let go. Samsung survived, yay, nice. We peel the shield on the 3rd Gen 4 slot from the opposite side to keep the warranty sticker intact. Here's where the sticker holds. Screw removed. Still stuck. Gently warm it or slip a plastic pick under the single-sided board so it releases. Done. We start removing the cooler above the Gen 5 SSD. Four screws for us to get out. 
there are configurations with up to 6 terabytes of storage. Actually, ours has that capacity. Well, the price is 6,500 euro. Probably the most expensive laptop we've ever ordered. There are thermal pads underneath. This corner will let us lift it. Two thin pads. The arrow should mark where to start removing the ram shield. That won't work unless we also remove the CPU plate. From another angle, we risk snapping board components. We lift a little, definitely not the way. Okay, we have no other choice but to do it with a suction cup. Yes, we would feel better if this laptop didn't cost more than 6,000 euros. We won't give up. Oh, woo. Okay. This little corner. Okay, now we can see the two DDR5-6400 sticks. The RAM uses ISODIM modules with a built-in clock driver chip for better stability at high speeds. You can spot it near the center of the board. The laptop officially supports up to 96 gigabytes across the two slots. Thanks for enduring that battle with us. If you want us to open more machines, hit the like button and visit laptopmedia.com for the full review.